Okay guys, we're going to jump right in this and just get right to the point. If this level does not hold, it is game over for Bitcoin. This will be a point to scalp along. If we do drop, I'll give you a next support level to pay attention to. Uh, in the previous video, guys, I made it very clear. I said if we get a daily open below 60700 and remember, I said do not open any trades. You should have already been short from 64 k I said wait and see if the next daily candle opens below 60.7k. If it does, that would be bearish down to 56800 around that area. I'll link the video now if you want to check it out. And as you can see, we got a daily open below the orange macro trend line that says it was very important. We've never broken below one of these on the daily without getting a major drop. I said your next major support level is right at this blue ring and this macro uh, red uh, trend line, which we're gonna cover in just a sec. We do have one more support level below, just in case we do drop down, we go a little scam wick. But this would be 0.2 chance along if you want to do that. Obviously, if you're short from 64K, you might as well hold it and see what happens. If we push back up, I'll show you the next point, potentially short. Guys, we get into uh, leverage trading. The three exchanges I use and trust are CoinCat, BingX, and BitGit. Uh, all those links, if you want to sign up, are pinned in the first comment description. CoinCat is no KYC. Uh, some states in the U.S., you do not even need a VPN. BingX, 150 times leverage. BitGit's one of the trust exchange. Uh, this tutorial video is showing you how to trade on BitGit. If you're interested to learn how to trade through leverage, this teaches you how to open a long and short set of stop loss, just stop loss, stop loss, trigger orders, all that. Remember, once you can trade on one exchange, you can trade on them all because they're pretty much identical. I'll put this video now if you want to check it out. So as you can see, and again, guys, I made it very clear yesterday uh, in the last video. So just pay attention. If we get a daily open below this macro orange trend line, that is bearish because every time we've broken below on the daily, we always get a drop. Now we're at this macro, and again, like I said, guys, we always get a bounce from the blue ring. We have a lot of support here. If this breaks and becomes resistance, we have a lot more downside. Again, we have one more support level below. I will give you that. And Discord, I just want to point out that you know, not only do uh, this price respect you know, the rings and what I gave you, but we also respect these FIB channel lines. So, uh, this was yesterday at 10 o'clock, said at FIB line on D1 now. As you can see, we've got a small bounce. If we continue down, and the same targets gave you in yesterday's video, but you notice we got a bounce right here on this FIB channel line to the dollar, and we pushed up, so that would have been a nice scalp along. As I said, from this point on, since we're below that macro orange trend line, you only want to be scalping longs. I would be holding your shorts, and as you can see, we came down and we got a bounce at this point, which we're testing currently again. And you can see here, so guys, as I said, if we do hold, which is very possible, we can hold here at 56,800 and push up. If we do, you're most, uh, and again, this is on the daily, guys. So if we push straight up today, you're looking at 60,722. And if we go further out, you know, roughly 61,000 is going to be most critical resistance. And as I said, as long as we are below this orange macro trend line, to me, we've already flipped bearish because even if we push up from here, we won't get back above this point. As long as we stay above this point, this means we have a lot more downside. That being said, on the flip side, just in case you have both scenarios, if we do get back above 61K and start pushing back up, well, you know your next major resistance level above will be the same point we got rejected last time where I said to short 64K. And that resistance, depending on you make contact, that's from maybe 65,000 around that area. But right now, just to make it clear, we are at a key support level. As I said, we've just been bouncing down this ring as support, support. Remember I said to long the ring, short 64K, wait to see if we get a daily open above or below. If we get a daily open below 60.7K, that is bearish down to support. We bounce back down to that ring. And as I told you before in that previous video, if you want to go back and watch it, that trend line is very important. As you can see, we are now testing. All right, so we've already broken below the yellow trend line, right? We've already broken below the orange trend line. And now we are testing this support level right here. And remember when we broke this, we had a major drop too. So we are testing that point at that ring. So that's why this is a key support level. If you want to chance along here, this would be the point to do it. Guys, make sure you use a stop loss. Make sure you protect yourself. But as I said, typically we just kind of bounce up that ring, but these are your key levels to pay attention to right now. Again, this would be point to open along. If we do drop, your next key support level will be down around, uh, and this is around 55,000. Well, if it was today, that'd be 55,600. You know, if we just kind of chop and go sideways, you'll get 55,900, let's just say 56K. But again, this would be a point if you want to chance along. Again, a lot of confluence here. You've got horizontal support, the screen line here. You've got uh, this red macro trend line I've been talking about for quite a while. 
and you had the ring every time we hit the ring we get a bounce so again just so you know this would be an idle point if you wanted to open a long but make this clear scalp long because we are now below this point to me i think we have a lot more downside even if we come up and test this as resistance unless we get back above it it just means we have a lot more downside so just want to make that very clear uh so that's pretty much it as far as that do you want to show you the weekly though uh, if we do drop just a little further confluence for you, this is the uh, this is the weekly chart. Up here, you can see this is the top. I'm sorry, this is the center Bollinger Band on the weekly, setting around 65K. Obviously, that's going to kind of go sideways and down. But you can see the bottom Bollinger Band on the weekly is setting right at uh, 56,000. So pay attention to that target. Uh, it's a nice even number also. And if we go back and compare 56,000, Again, so if we talk and go sideways, that, that's an ideal point to open along. But remember, that means if 57,000 becomes resistance, like I said, that is a very important trend line. And that's why I made this D1 simple chart. Remember, you can't get access to all these live charts in Discord if you want to sign up. That link is pinned in the first comment description. I still have that special going on through July 4th. So make sure you email me through the website. Go to the website, just click on contact and email me if you want to take advantage of that July 4th special just going on through today. Uh, you can't pay with USDT to take uh, advantage of that special. And again, guys, you can leverage trading. Three exchanges I use and trust are CoinCatch at BingX and Bigit. All those links if you want to sign up or pin in the first comment description. Trade safe, trade smart, guys. I'm out.